my fucking good intro again. Because I worked <laughs> really hard on it. Can I get take this easy? <laughs> stressed out. I'm gonna play some some monolith because um that's one of my favorite games recently. Okay. What do you like about, about monolith? this? Um it's just a really well made roguelite game with bullet hell elements. Let me know when you guys see it. Um, I me... see it. There it is. Okay. With my eyeballs. Let me just make sure Whoa. that the volume is okay. Yeah, that should be fine. Gross. Don't talk about your eyeballs. Sorry. I'm gonna close them for you. Oh. Oh. I, I think uh, there's supposed to be a desk right here with all stuff on it. I think it glitched out. Whoops. It's okay. Read it. <laughs> yeah, this is, um, so this is Monolith. It is a roguelite, um, bullet hell shooter, I guess. It, it really takes a lot of elements that I like from a lot of other roguelikes and, like, sort of reappropriates. Like being a schmuck. Well, yeah. Um, but it's got sort of, like, sort of, like, structured rooms, like Binding of Isaac with, oh, hey, that... That enemy's new. They must have added that in the update. Except uh, this looks better than Oh, Eliza. yeah, because it's good. Right, no, and it's not I, filled with... Okay, I'm Isaac not gonna... 2007 memes, and I like those. It remind me of my youth. Ah. Uh, Who doesn't but, love a um, good meme? It also does... Oh, um, so here's where you can pick some... Uh, upgrades? I'm gonna go with Blink. That's always what I go with, because that means that... Whenever I dash, I actually phase out, so I I won't take any damage. Mm. And like Binding of Isaac, they will hide rooms in between rooms, and that you have to bomb to find. So, oh, and hey, I found a a good weapon. FF, you're quiet again, apparently. Okay, one second. Well, I'll have to. Is let this me. Better? Maybe. We'll find out. Because I am speaking a bit oh. quietly because my na my upstairs neighbor went to bed and these oh, okay. houses are built like shit. Well, I've got you at 200% on Discord, so I don't really know what else I can do. I could probably boost my guess on whatever if it's still a problem. Okay. But yeah. And there are shop rooms. Ooh, that's a sword. That means more damage. Oh, hey, they added a candy bar health item? That's cool. So yeah, this oh. game is actually getting updated quite a bit recently, which is cool because it's a it's a good video game. They added a hard mode, which I still have not been able to beat. So it must be good. You can Already beat it hard. Mode. But yeah, this game's just got like it's got a nice, like, clean style. It's got like some really good music. I really love the music in the first level. And whenever you pause, uh, it's your ship and he's holding a cup of coffee and he's dodging all those bullets. It's adorable. <laughs> I just like how clean all the art is. Like even when you're, uh, when your ship is moving around on the menu, on like the map. Right. It reminds me a lot of x Inverge, honestly. Yeah, a little bit. So yeah. I'm actually gonna pick up this weapon, even though I've already got a better weapon, because um, whenever you pick up a weapon, it gets turned into your old weapon gets turned into salvage, and if you have full health, you get getting like health will you have these bars, and if you get four of them, you'll get an extra health bar or an okay, extra. Is this twin health. stick, or is this using the map? I am using the mouse. You can do twin stick, but I just, I have, I find it a lot easier when using the mouse. Sure. But yeah, so, like, I've seen monoliths. sort of mechanics, like, um, the health stuff and the, and the wep the weapon salvage, and, um, let's see, what game had that? Um, I'm just, oh. Dungeon? No, Gungeon might have had it, but I remember it specifically from 
Uh, Downwell. Downwell had it. Okay, right. And I'm actually going to go back and buy this sword upgrade. And uh, I guess the candy bar upgrade while we're at it. Candy bar upgrade? Yeah, it gives me health. Oh, okay. Chef more delicious. <laughs> whoa, whoa. All the, all the better for when they eat it. Oh no, don't eat my ship. Uh, ship and chips. Yes, got them in the explosion. And I'm collecting bombs. Those are right under my ammo counter. Let's see. Like, oh, okay. okay. That's what the that's what the yellow number is. Oh no, that wait, that's the yellow other thing. I was about to ask if there's a limit, but now I sat up and oh, I can see it now. There are four. <laughs> um, the the yellower bombs are bombs that I will actually regain. So, I actually just got an upgrade that allows me to gain one extra one back. And so like. Okay. Basically, going through rooms, you'll, like, basically recharge that if you get below the certain amount. Cool, cool. And is scrap, like, money? Yeah, scrap's like money. Uh, okay. Let's see, a spear. Uh, I haven't been using the spears a lot. They, they're a more recent update, so I'll try that out. Okay. Oh, hey! These are new guys. I love new guys. Yeah. Actually, I don't know. These... Like they're a bit flat looking. I think that they could have done a better job yeah, with those. Yeah, they don't they don't really have a shader to it. Um, let's see, there might be Yep. And this is like a special the look of this gun. I think that's an ice bomb. I like that the, the spear sticks in people. Yeah, I think it actually even does like continuous damage. Oh, oh, Extra oh. damage as it's stuck seeing this so i'm like man i need to play this game again and i do because i kind of just gave up after a level because i'm bad at shmups yeah but smart shmups are good yeah i think this game actually does a great job at teaching you like sort of fundamentals of bullet hell mechanics just by going through it because i actually am a lot better at playing bullet hell shooters after playing this game a lot Oh, oh no, that guy's nasty. Uh, yeah, he doesn't shower. <laughs> he's a brain. He can't take a shower because he's a brain. Have you ever yeah, tried to wash a brain? That's illegal. I haven't. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah, brainwashing, my dude. Oh, 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 this must be a Halloween update because they replaced the one hearts with uh, candy corn. That's that's adorable. Oh, oh. That oh my god. Happy Halloween, everyone. Uh, this is appropriate That's for funny. Jay's Indie Coroner. Oh, spook uh -huh. The razor blades are good because you can just sort of... They have different formations, and this one is way out in front, so I can just hold it in front of me and it'll do damage to the enemy. Cool. But you can also shoot it. It's great. Versatile. That's what you... That's what's good about weapons. The versatility. How long did it? How much of this game have you played in to get all of these like silly weapons? Because um, I don't know. I probably got most of them like I don't know, maybe like seven hours in. I'm not sure because they added more after I started playing. Let's see, and you can actually uh. I think I've explored all of this. So you can actually warp to any room that you've gone to. That It saves a lot of time. It's great. Someone's asking what our opinion on candy corn is. Um, not a big fan. Okay. I would uh, prefer I to sugar. eat basically most other candies. Oh, shit. I clicked out of the window. Oh, oh, no. Will you be able to... Uh... Salvage your Oh, run? yeah, it's oh, fine. It just pauses. Okay. It just pauses when you click. That's actually cool and smart. Helpful. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I took way too much damage during that boss fight. But it's okay. 
Thanks for the $20, Ryan Nito, who says, You are a great and entertaining and all-around lovely LPer and anime talker. Thank you very much for the content you've produced, and thank you for the nice words. I saw somebody saying that they wouldn't see uh, Candy Corn out of their own volition in the chat, and I read that as out of my own Voltron, and I was, like, really confused. <laughs> well, in Voltron, there's a whole thing about Candy Corn. Ah. Uh. It's big in the shipping community. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Candy Corn basically caused a uh, hundred years of fandom drama. I can just stand behind this thing and hit the guy with my cool weapon. Would, would Keith eat Candy Corn, the greatest threat in the history of the internet? Uh, you, you don't have to ask if Hunk would eat it because he's fat. <laughs> Please eat the thick. I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> I apologize for lying. You can't stop me. Ah. Uh, I need to get better about using my bombs. Ugh. I saw a post the other day implying that anyone has said, in the same way that you say thick with two C's, someone has said thin with two N's. No. To denote some kind of like fetishization with it. I don't think that's real. That doesn't yeah. sound real. It's not something. Um, we probably won't see a lot of electric enemies this far down, but uh, I'll just I'll still get this one. Okay. It's not a bad one to have. And you can shoot these icicles. It's great. And okay, yeah, that was nothing. I wasted a bomb there. It's uh, okay. You have two more. I have four more. Oh, well, shit. Oh, right, because the three are just the ones that will re respawn. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's ice cream. That's not really a Halloween thing, but it's it's nice. Ooh. <laughs> you put ice cream in something. Like oh, I get it. it. Ice cream. Like what I do on Halloween. Cool. Uh -oh. <laughs> Someone puts ice cream in your bag of candy. Wow, like, thanks, <laughs> mister. Going upside down in your little <laughs> jack o <-lan> <laughs> <laughs> you just like put mustard on a slice of bologna and shove it in so that the kid can't see that you put it in there. <laughs> oh, gross kid who put bologna in your bag. <laughs> oh, wait, I don't even need to dodge these guys anymore. I can just take the electricity. Yeah. Oh, does it do no damage now? Yep. Let's see, railgun? I like the railgun. No. Nope. I keep wasting my bombs. Oh shit, I hope my internet isn't dying again. Oh no no no! Fuck! Piece of shit! Ah! Oh. Problems. Oh no. Oh, oh. He's no. trapped in the void. <laughs> Can you guys hear me? Uh. Uh. You're okay. Oh. Jay. Am I back? Oh. Yes. You're back. You're here. Okay. I don't I don't know if your stream is back. Stream is not back. back. It was dead. Oh, I think the stream is back. Okay. Well, I had that issue think... too. Welcome back. Oh my god, we're back. Oh. Thank god. Oh. I... Whew, we almost died there. Now that's a Halloween fright I could do without. <laughs> this is real scary. Let's see. Oh, oh. Let's see... Might be this room. Nope, not that room. Might be this room. Yes, it is that room. And more max ammo. Great. 
there's a power-up that will automatically use a bomb whenever you have more than two. Like, it'll uh -huh. use a bomb whenever you get hit. And that is one of my favorite power-ups. That's usually one I go for. Oh my god, look at these jowls on this thing. This is a hard boss. I don't, I don't know if I've ever done it without taking damage. Taking a hit. It looks like you're doing good. I don't know what your health is at because I can't tell which one it is, even though I've it's played 12. this game before. No, well, no, is it's it 12? It's at six right now. Twelve is oh, my it's max. 12 health. Your max? Okay. Oh, that's how that, that works. That was pretty oh, good. I guess it's good with the a strong weapon like the railgun. Oh yeah. This, uh, now I see what the problem is. I would get I would get destroyed at that. <laughs> yeah. Too many things to pay attention to. But yeah. Like, this game just, like, it just moves really fast. Like, especially with being able to, like, warp to rooms you've already completed. And just, like, it's just, like... That seems like a really good yeah. feature for a rope, like. Like, I remember Enter the Gungeon. Um, it sort of... Oh, that guy just killed himself. Great. Uh, had sort of a similar thing. Like, it would just put teleporters all over the level. But... I feel like that was a bit more necessary in that game because you sort of move kind of slow and the levels are really large. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have you guys ever gotten something weird when you went out for candy? Did you ever get something weird for Halloween? Where we got a trick instead of a treat? Well, like, I don't know. One of my friends claims that in their neighborhood, one old lady who hated kids put out a bowl of her used dentures. Like, and, and put a sign next to them that just said, like, pick one only, please. This lady sounds cool. Like, do you, like, have you, ever had, like, have you ever seen something weird in your Halloween candy bag? Um, no, I don't think so. Got, okay. like, a popcorn ball once, but that's not, like, really crazy. It's just kind yeah. of... Whoa! Awesome a candy. popcorn ball? <laughs> what the... <laughs> It Were you trick-or-treating in hell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The only thing that's fucked up about my Halloween adventures is that people would give me fucking almond joys. Ugh. So what are the mounds in mounds? Because, like, almond joys have uh, the nuts, but we all know that mounds don't have nuts. Well, Almond Joys also have coconut, right? That's the thing I hate about it. Yeah, that's what I don't like. Mounds also have mounds of shredded coconut. Enrobed in dark chocolate. Let's see. Need some coconut. Let's hope for a second win. That would be great. Uh, there's focus. Uh, second win, but uh, there is padding right now. Or plating. And plating's great because that gives you a lot more health. <laughs> there's padding right now for right. the video. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm trying to pad this video out. <laughs> Oh no, someone's getting mad because I don't like all of them. Look, oh no, I'm they're taking like back coconut. their donation. <laughs> it, again, it's, just, it's just that, I, oh, you can shoot through those? That's awesome. Can you go through them? Or go, just shoot through them? Go through what? The portals. Oh yeah, you can go and shoot through portals. Okay. Like that one video game. Uh, I forget what it was called. Uh, Team Fortress uh, 2. Through portal game. Yep. <laughs> That's the one. That's what it's called. Uh, I think it's the Mari O where the O is the zero. Uh, yeah. Remember that game? Nope. Wish someone had done something with those portals. <laughs> like made a game out of them. They Ooh, didn't, giant uh... burst. Uh, yeah, I'll go with the razors again. The aesthetic on this is very cool. Yeah. But yeah, this is, like, one of the few roguelikes I've really been, like, coming back to recently. Mm -hmm. I've been playing a bit of Strafe, but I kind of fell off that one. Um, just because, like, I played it a lot whenever it first came out, and it had a lot of problems, and I'd constantly just get to, like, the final few levels, and, like, I'd fall into the geometry, and everything would break. And I feel so like the I'd... only roguelike I really felt like I got a handle on was uh, Spellunky. 
Oh, that the version of Spelunky where you have to type everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Spell Unky. Yep. No, but Spelunky was really my only one, and maybe like the original Binding of Isaac for a hot minute. But I came back to Spelunky. One hot, a hot minute. Uh oh. Oh, cause it, I see, cause the guy's shooting fire at you. Oh, I was gonna say because Isaac's so sexy. Oh, uh, what? No, he's a baby. What oh, the fuck? Yeah. Don't do that. Hey, hey. No, you only have two health left. What are you gonna do? Uh, survive. You have to get more health. Can you like? Increase your health, or, or can you like get more HP, or do you have to yeah. like, increase your max to get? Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, you can do that. You... No, take oh, your time. Jeez. Ah. Uh, ah beans. I was gonna. What you... I, I almost had an extra health, but let's see. What if you ah, good. There, there's there's a second wind. Second wind's pretty good like especially if you get it late in the game because it it just restores your health and gives you more ammo oh that's good that does sound good so if oh okay wow awesome Let's see a spear and um i don't really like thunderhead but i haven't used it yet in this and i want to show it off So Do you carry anything over between runs? Uh, yeah. You'll... In between runs, you can, like, buy, um, like, different weapons. Like, a lot of the weapons, like, Spear and the Razor Blade are, um... There's stuff that you, like, you basically, you keep all your scrap and, like, you use that to buy weapons. Okay. Uh, once you go back. That little cat is man. Is your G your scrap or is that a different thing? Wait, what? Is your G your scrap or is that some other thing? Yeah, the G. Okay. G stands for scrap. Right. Or gold or whatever. Um, So this is an interesting one because this guy will sell me stuff in exchange for HP. And I'm actually going to... Oh, that's interesting. Oh, so like the like the devil in Isaac. Yeah. And there are like certain other ones sort of like that that'll make trades where it's like, oh, I'll give you more bombs now, but you'll have less permanent bombs. <laughs> it's like, it's it, it's usually pretty interesting trades. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay. That was a good room. I like the fireball with the overheating. Oh, jeez. I don't like being surrounded by all this fire. Oh, this homing's bad. Oh, I love being surrounded by fire. That's because yeah, you're always spitting seems... hot fire. This, this homing doesn't seem very good. Well, it's just not good for... Because I'm trying to fire at these stationary enemies while this really fast one's zooming around my head. Hmm. That'd do it. Oh, this might be a... a... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I think that's a new one. I'm just gonna go back out and go back in, get rid of all the bullets. Play smarter, not harder. That's what they say. See, we got a shop. Ooh, I could buy more damage. Yes, please. Always be buying damage. A B B B. I love to do damage. Ooh, I got a new hat. Uh, so, um, you've got a little ghost in your room. That's one of the things that's glitched out whenever I started the game, but trust me, it's there. And you can put uh, different hats on him. It's, oh, cool. It's very cute. Well, maybe it's a ghost and it's spooky. Oh, it, yeah, I'm very scared that uh, it glitched out. <laughs> so you don't actually have to clear 
all the rooms, you just have to clear all the like mini boss. And those are the ones that are denoted by the like the this icon, the the big black eye. And then you can mm -hmm. go into the into the boss. And I think that this is like the final boss, you know, like sort of like right. You know how roguelike final bosses are where it's not really the final boss. Right. But the first in a long line of final areas of final right. Oh lord, I love that video game. Oh. Right. But he's a real son of a gun. Oh, hey, he looks like it. Well, I mean, you still got 12 health. It yeah. seems like you could. Yeah, um, it is very possible that I will beat him because I just have so much health. Uh, uh, I've got less health going into the second phase, but. That's okay. Oh. You know what they say, the second phase is not as bad as the first. Is that what they say? Who says that? I don't know. Avril Lavigne. Just you. Okay, third phase! I don't have a lot of fireballs left, so let's hope I can make them count. Oh, out of bombs. That's the worst feeling when you go to hit the bomb and nothing comes out. Or actually, that's the second worst feeling. The worst feeling is whenever you hit the bomb, but you still get hit, and then you use the bomb still. But hey, I beat him. And you can actually just leave, and um, that'll give you a score, which is great. But uh, let's go a little bit further. Uh, I have not played this area in a while. Oh, God. Oh. You're going to be okay, buddy. <laughs> you went to, like, hell? Yeah, I'm in Mom's basement or whatever. Yeah. I was going with Spelunky where you go to hell. Or, like, uh, La Mulana where you go to hell. Or Life where you go to hell. <laughs> if you do drugs, you go to hell before you die. That's a speedrun strat. Right. <laughs> Uh, you go to hell in Doom also, right? When are they making a Doom roguelike? They- somebody made a roguelike Doom. Oh, huh. I was way into it until I saw that it was like a top-down, like an actual rogue-ass roguelike. Oh, instead of like a, a Doom. It's yeah. more rogue than Doom. Yeah. Oh, someone says. Oh, right. Uh, someone says Binding of Isaac. You also go to hell, which happens. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, you go to the devil's house or whatever. You oh, go to the place where the devil is. Scary so place. Like, scary town. Yeah, that's what they call it. Everybody's yelling about Scarlet. how there's a doom rogue like. Nobody's listening to me. But yeah, that's Monolith. I I really this is. One of my favorite, like, recent indie games. Yeah. Oh, you do go to hell in Cave Story. Actually, that's another thing that this game reminds me a lot of, is Cave Story. Uh, here we got that. our little ghost. Um, we got ended by a polyp. And furnish, and we can... Ah, oh, we got a little wizard head. Oh, where'd all oh, my look, hats your, go? Your, your stuff's here. Uh, uh the ghost stole them. I, uh, that's a shame. D did the ghost steal them? I can put up these different pictures. I like the sunset. Got these banners. I like the trumpet. Got these carpets. Ooh, that's a good carpet. I'll keep that one. But yeah, there are different things you can do. Oh, hey! They changed how this is displayed. So, um, these are basically oh, the different... Oh, that guy giving a thumbs up! The different modes. Oh, we got yeah. the normal mode. We got the hard mode. Um, okay. Oh, hey, they changed these too. So we've got the normal difficulty, which is um, mm -hmm. you do the normal amount of damage. We've got the intense difficulty, which is you do more damage, but you have less health. And you actually, I don't think you can gain like extra hit points. And then there's sudden death mm -hmm. where you have a lot of damage, but you only have one hit point. And I can't oh, get geez. very far in that. But hey, yeah, that sounds let's awful. try it. Okay. 
Yeah. I'll probably switch to one of my other games after this. This is a, a Dante Must Die-esque mode. Dante Must Die it. <laughs> Something about Dante Must Die makes me think of, like, teen movies from, like, I don't know, like, right, like 2000. John dies yeah. Or John Tucker Must Die. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's it, because it reminds me of John Tucker Must Die. Right. Which is about how he, I think he cheated on, some, like, four different women, and then they all, like, get back at him. Right. They're like, he must die. His name's John Tucker. Right. They say the titular line. And then John Tucker's like, no, they're my hot Ferraris. And then they're like... Uh, we're real people, and then it's a it's an empowerment story. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen John Tucker Must Die. But yeah, I I can take down these mini bosses like nothing, especially when I've got oh you got ice a power oh <laughs> no problem guys. Ah oh, well, it was a good run while it was going. Um, all right, so I probably have time for one or two more games. Yeah, why not? Oh, that guy doesn't have any business with me. All right, exit this game. Let's see what else I wanted to play. So this is... Okay, start this. This is Waveform. Okay. Made by Eden Industries. Let's see if it. OBS picking it up? Yeah. Uh, let's go to the volume mixer. A little loud. So, this is a game. I must have gotten this in like a, a bundle or something like years ago. And like, it's like you buy it for like a dollar, and I think, or you buy it for like two dollars, and I think it's on sale right now for a dollar. And this is just like a simple sort of puzzle game. I don't know. It's sort of hard mm -hmm. to explain, but I'll show you. So you control like the sign, or the you control this wave, and. You try to get it to line up with these different colored balls and stuff. And it's just, I don't know, it's a nice, relaxing little puzzle game. Sort of like arcadey a little bit. Okay. That's cool. Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh, I boned up that. Oh, no, it says you're awesome. Yeah. Oh, uh, wait, I know what's going to happen. Oh, no. Oh, it's you gonna. Oh. I think I can't tell. This is neat. So, um. I wasn't really familiar with Eden. I think they did. Um. What was that game? Ah, jeez. Ah, I missed all that stuff. Uh, what was that name of that game? Uh, Citizens of Earth? That game where you play as like the vice president of America or the whatever. The Earthbound kind of game. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That game kind of oh. came and went. Yeah. I don't know. It seemed neat. Like aesthetically, it seemed pretty cool. But yeah. I think this is part of the Halloween sale right now because it's so scary. Ooh. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't really played this game in years. I, I booted it up to make sure that I could, uh, do it on the stream, and that was about it. And I was like, and this game's still pretty good. Uh, uh. Ah.
Oh, and then you want to, like, get into the... There we go. You get extra points if you get into, like, the wormhole at the end. Okay. This game might not be as interesting to show off as I was thinking, so I'll probably only do no, one. No, it's fun to look at. Yeah, it's got good music, which you guys can't hear, but... Plus, you did beautiful. It said so. Oh, well, shucks. It's like the game, with all the pretty lights. 206 stars? What are the stars for? Um, stars are what you get at the end. You get, like, 10 stars per level or whatever. Okay. But, um, I think you... You unlock things with the stars, like, more levels and stuff. You know, basic video game stuff. Right. Honestly, Love video, video games. games. I remember this game helping me with a uh, college calculus class because it taught me about sine waves and stuff. Mm hmm. And then I dropped out of college. Nope, that's okay. Nope, didn't get that. So are you supposed to be able to get all, like, the, the ones where the green and the blue are opposite? Are you supposed to be able to try to get those all at the same time? Well, um, I was supposed to get a power-up that, um, basically... Uh, makes a little uh, green ball like float around me and collect that for me or collect the green stuff for me but I really bungled this all up. That's okay. Uh, oh and I died. Okay. <laughs> well, this game's pretty it. neat and you can buy it for like a dollar so. Hey that's cool. And, um, uh, all right. Where's that one? Shadow Blade Reloaded. Or Reload. Not Shadow Blade Reload. Did. Just Reload. Ugh. This is made by, um, Dead Mage, who is a company I have never heard of, but this is actually, like, a pretty fun little pretty platformer. Metal. I'll just... I don't... Really, I'm not going to pick up where I was in the, the story mode because I don't really remember where I was. But it's just like... Oh. Okay, well that's a death trap. <laughs> well, good start. But yeah, this is just like sort of... Not exactly a simple platformer per se, but like... Pretty like no frills one, um, <laughs> with like a lot of emphasis on collecting and like doing things as fast as possible. Okay. Kind of, uh, it's... You're a ninja, run around. What more do you want? Yeah. Like uh, what is that house oh. of the? What was that? Uh, Super House of Dead Ninja. That's what I'm thinking. Of. I wouldn't really say it's like that. Honestly, it kind of reminds me of. Sort of the new Super Mario Brothers games, almost. Oh, Maybe a bit more of. Uh, cutting dudes in half and, uh, <laughs> but just like off. in like how the levels are sort of designed. Maybe a bit more like um, Donkey Kong Country Returns, but like it doesn't really have like a Ninja Gaiden feel. Like it doesn't feel so much actiony as a game about like like a platforming game. Sure. Nope, that guy shot me. Oh, there we go. Oh, 
Oh. You're okay. You got this. Yeah, I'm... I'm not worried. I'm not fucking worried. <laughs> ah. Ah. It's his life. He's in danger. He's risking his life for us. But yeah, we this is just like a, a fun, solid platformer. Like, it, it's kind of like a shame that like it doesn't really get any love or whatever. Because it's... A, Honestly, it's a lot of fun. Oh, oh, that guy. Oh, I'm murdered again. Oh, oh wait, can I knock? Can I knock that off? Oh, I can knock that off. I didn't know. Knock it off. <laughs> you knucklehead. Yeah, you goof. The movement seems really good in this game. Yeah, it is pretty good. You've got a double jump and a dash that you can do either in air or on the ground. Not. Yeah. Mm. Hello. Hey. Oh, hey, it's Future Friend. That's right. Do you think about the uh, ninja way? I think the ninja yeah. way is skip the as much as possible. That's right, That's what you should do, do on youcaring.com. Let's put that link in a place where people can find it. it I've got it copied. I can do it now. Oh, wow, you did it. I'm gonna do it too. Whoa. The more the merrier. Yeah. Go there twice and donate twice. Yeah, hell, just do it. Yeah. Like, don't don't question. like Nike trust says, us. just do it. Hey, don't trust corporations. That's what get us into this mess. This stream is sponsored by Nike. <laughs> yeah, we gotta pay him off. That's a and, and Olive Garden. What is yeah. Or else we'll broke our toes. <laughs> Only our Classic toes. Nike move. Yeah. <laughs> Nike's very big into ironic punishment. Olive Garden is just make, gonna make me eat a lot of Olive Garden. That might be worth it. Yeah. That is... When are we gonna do the Olive Garden pasta challenge? <laughs> the unlimited pasta challenge where we see how much unlimited pasta we can eat. The only Google Hangout you'll see if we do that is my swinging corpse. Because <laughs> you can't enjoy a delicious Olive Garden meal That's right. there in the Netherlands. C? It looks like a C. Uh, yeah, that was a C. You just barely. I, <laughs> you just... I I died a lot, and I didn't find all the. I didn't find all the cool things. Ninja prizes. Right. Oh, that that was a bad move. Oh boy. I've actually been playing a lot of. Splasher recently because that got released on to the Switch Virtual Console and that that's sort of a, a similar game where it's kind of it's got like a bit of like the masochistic platformer design in like small doses but it's still sort of like traditional platformer in a lot of ways and that that's also a, a very good game. Oh. That missile, well, like Super Meat Boy and Portal. Well, except good. Well, well Super look, Meat I... Boy and Portal are good. I don't like Super Meat Boy. Hey, you know what you don't like? Good. That's what you don't like. And people. And you were like saying that you didn't like Portal. <laughs> look, sometimes you gotta. Look, sometimes you say things that you don't mean. Yeah. Yeah. No, I actually don't like Portal. You're right on that. Super Meat Boy, however. A game is not the beast. Now that's Ooh. a game. Yeah. 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 Like, I don't know. Portal's weird to me. Like, I can see what it's going for, and I respect that, but I just didn't really enjoy it. You just don't like the memes. Yeah, but you're like, like, you're like Super Meat Boy because you love not that Ed memes. McMillan because charm. You love the memes. Yeah, I do. Uh, uh, and he loves poop. Oh, baby, you know what's. 
I didn't mean in that way, Jesus. <laughs> Hell. <laughs> well, while we're here, I might as well get him. Listen, this isn't something my Twitch fan, unless at least one embarrassing secret has been brought out. Right, even if it's a lie. Hey, who said it was a lie? Oh, he's right. Future friend did not deny. But um, this game also reminds me a bit of that 3DS Shinobi game that they made and nobody ever talked about. That game was pretty all right. I'd never even heard of this. I didn't know that was. I think I saw it once. Oh my god! Oh, you got destroyed there. You gotta. Yeah, but I collected all the things. I you love gotta doing speed that. Up your moves. Oh, there we go. Phew. Oof. Um, that game was cool. You could unlock a golden axe. Oh, like that Just like video, video game. game. Golden that axe. That famous video yeah. game, Streets of Rage. Yep, that's the one. Uh, Ten dollar donation from Anonymous. Oh, thank you, Anonymous. Did they say anything? They said, yeah, uh, Super Meat Boy's bad, Jay's right. Hey, 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 now look at it, and they didn't say that. Don't make the lies. hell for hating Portal. Donators. They're important. Chirps, can you use this as a tax write-off, by the way, <laughs> these donations? Yeah. Oh, boy. Well, a tax write-off for the people who donate, not for me. Uh, yeah, no, that's what I mean. See, there's a, there's a charity to be done, and actually we should not say this, we have like no knowledge of legal. Uh, yeah, you might get arrested. Yeah. <laughs> Don't give Sharks You might money, get owned get in court. <laughs> That's not what I said. <laughs> oh, come on, Andy, he needs that money. Now, now you have to give him money because you bullied him. Oh, no. <laughs> That's right, you've been owned. Oh, god. That's a tough one. Pretend the anonymous was me. Right, so... $45 more and then you'll maybe $900 more for getting out of the four-digit range, which is fantastic, honestly. Yeah. Striking distance. That's... Striking dinge... distance, like this cool ninja and Money. his foes. Yeah. Right, where he strikes. This is a sword, he doesn't use his hands to so strike it. It's like a, a cutting. It's reloaded if he doesn't have a gun. No, it's... It's just reload. When does he go to the bathroom? Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> See, that's what I like about Hitman, a game which... Realism. I today he goes go to the bathroom yeah, because we he, make it happen yeah he goes to the bathroom he's like i need <laughs> well, to go to the bathroom and then he does <laughs> he's like oh my little bladder and he's like oh these cars run on gas too i need to go get some of that <laughs> <laughs> that's cool Look, I just don't understand why in Final Fantasy you have to worry about cold resistance when you could just put on a sweater. Oh, yeah. That's why Hitman is a good series. They answer all those choices. Right. Right. I mean, Square Enix could take a couple notes from their own series. <laughs> oh. Well, no, they sold it oh. off now. So oh, right. Yeah, now they can take notes from it again. <laughs> they can't steal from it anymore. That's the law. I don't like how it says kill points. It should say defeat. Murder points. points. No defeat. They coexist points. <laughs> and it looks just like one of those um, bumper stickers. But one of the gamer ones. Is there a gamer coexist? Yes. Oh, cool. I want one of those for my part. But it's with anime. 
back when I was in college, there was a car in my area that was just like covered in One Piece bumper stickers and like um, window stickers. It was really cool. You stole them, right? It was your yeah. car. Yeah, well, it was my car then. After I stole it. Oh, someone says that the O in Coexist for the nerds is the Death Star, which that's awesome. <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. I mean, if there's anything I know about Star Wars is that they all coexist together. <laughs> if there's anything I know about the Death Star, it loves coexisting. It's true. It loves to exist where other people are. You know, one thing I really like about this game is just how much space there is. Like, you're not very big, so a lot of other things can be in the screen. I don't know how I'm supposed to get that. Maybe I was actually supposed Doesn't to, feel cramped. to jump off one of those guys, and I fudged that up. No, that's okay. You just have to, like, kill yourself, right? Um, maybe. Oh. Oh, no, you're missing par time. More like party time. Because whenever I play a video game, it's always a good it's time. Oh, oh, okay. I think I like party time. Excellent, like uh, the Wayne's World. Uh, I'm not familiar with them. Uh oh. Well, it's part of the Mike Myers expanded universe. Oh, so he he knows Shrek. Yes, and he knows um the guy from So I Married an Axe Murderer. He killed the love guru. That's kind. That's canon. Yep, that's canon. And uh, uh, what's another Mike Myers movie? Um, so I Austin married an Powers. axe murderer. I already said that one. So I, I married an axe murderer too, but it's like T.O.O. I don't think there was a sequel. Right. It's actually about um, Owen Wilson, who also married an axe murderer. Right. But he's played by um, Mike Dean Myers. Harvey. I literally um, forgot who we were, we were talking about. <laughs> Wait, why was why did nobody ever make it? So I married an axe murderer, but it's like Mike Meyer, Michael Myers from the the Halloween series. Oh, that would be good. I don't know. They should have Michael Myers from the Halloween series do the Austin oh. Powers movies. <laughs> oh, I, I yeah, need to baby. install Codex to watch the movie. What? <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, what? I don't. <laughs> um... <laughs> Welcome to indie games. Well, well, get uh... in, get on it, boy. <laughs> well, now we you want to digest the story. That owns. <laughs> That's really good. Holy shit. It's like how when I tried to play that um, Gundam PC game, it would crash if I didn't download like specifically real time player like three. Oh, man, real time player. <laughs> I remember real time player like for a long time was really like banking on that like Liang Incredible Hulk movie being beloved. <laughs> and like kept putting it in all its online advertisements. If only they could have known. That, that would be the best superhero movie ever made. They, they did it. Hell, I think that Incredible Hulk TV shows better. Hey, I like that. Damn. Yeah, that show's cool. Yeah. The old one, or did they make a new one? The old one. That's the one where he's just sad all the time. <laughs> it's cool. Finally, a superhero who's relatable and has depression. <laughs> Whoa, who's that lady? Whoa, go back. I'm sorry, Chorp, she's she's married. Wowza! Whoa. Oh god. <laughs> oh, you didn't go back to see that lady. Yep. It's true. But yeah, uh the company who made this I I looked into the other games they made and none of them 
like really seemed all that interesting or had like very good scores at all. So I don't know. Well, at least they got one right. Yeah. But I mean, I would also argue this is just kind of a longer version of like those, what do you call them again, those N plus games? No, this is not really anything like N plus because it's good. Yeah, it looks but... like a control <laughs> video game. See, this just makes me think of Mark the Ninja. I mean, it's kind of like Mark of the Ninja, but it's a lot more It's about action. ninja. Yeah. There is a ninja, however. Gotcha. Does there he ever go. get his mark? Who knows? His name's not Mark. Oh, well. <laughs> See, I'm just glad that uh, gamers have never gotten over the 80s ninja obsession. It really oh. makes me hopeful there's some Miami connection waiting to happen in gaming. I'd play the Miami Connection, the video game, yeah, where it's like part cool. rock band, part, I don't know, Batman, Arkham Asylum. <laughs> yeah, except you have to keep your pants and butts in all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite scene from a movie. Like, uh, like, Chet, have you guys seen this movie? You say I need to keep my pants undone at all times, as if that's not just my no, life. No, no. I'm talking about Miami Man. action. Oh. Yeah, so there's a scene uh, of, like, this guy. He's been trying to find, like, his dad, and he gets, like, a letter in the mail. Uh, and he goes outside, and his like, pants are just, like, unzipped. It's just because his fly hanging open, and he goes, I found my real dad, guys. <laughs> I That's cool. Uh, he did it. I've run out of, I I've run out of uh, interesting things to say. I'm sorry. About Miami Connection. That. That's all the ninja content I can muster. Uh, what about Beverly Hills Ninja? What about uh, Beverly Hills... 51200. Right? I've yeah. seen Beverly Hills Cop, but only the third one. Really? No, but Beverly Hills Ninja, I, is that the like pseudo porno that, one? Where there's no, a lot of stuff? No, that. is that the one with Chris, Chris Farley? Farley? Yeah, I'm pretty no, sure. No, I thought that was. One. Oh, right, that is the ninja. I get that and um, Beverly Hills Cop mixed up just because they're like the same thing. Oh. And they're I miss the Beverly good old Hills. days when we could have something. And it could just be about someone from Beverly Hills, and that was enough. Right, right like Beverly Hills 90210, Beverly Hills Cop, Beverly Hills Ninja, the Beverly, Beverly Hills, Hills Chihuahua. I. Yep. Oh yeah, that is a real thing, isn't it? I was hoping that the friend would continue, like, to the end of Infinity, so we'd have, like, Massachusetts Ninja. <laughs> oh shit. Or, like, Beverly Hills Hacktivist. Beverly Hills Feminist. The Beverly Hills Cyberbully. <laughs> That's just because you want to always have someone to look up to. I do. Like, that's a thing. Young man... Bully can't make it big, because I know for a fact that that's not true. Like, Let me young see... Man nowadays, they need, like, a role model. And I think the Beverly Hills Cyberbully is gonna be it. Okay, let me see what movie I'm thinking of where it's, like, pseudo-porny. Um... And is also a uh, samurai cop is the one I'm thinking. Of. Yeah, yes. Yeah, sorry, I was thinking. Of Wait, samurai is there cop. a Beverly Hills Samurai? Because I feel like that's a movie we could make. No, because that would be cool. Man, I guess see samurai cop sometimes. It's yeah, me too. Heard, like, uh, they had to do reshoots, and the main actor refused to, like, shave his hair to, like, go back to a, what it was in the original shoots. You no, know, he, he had cut his hair, and so they had to give him a terrible wig. <laughs> cool. Cool. And you know what? Once you get those two oh wow! Hours, I made it under the part time too. Well, what's gonna ha well, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna wow remake, S rank. Uh, hey, good way to end the stream. Remake Samurai Cop. All right. Well, uh, thanks for watching uh, Jay's Indie Corner. Ooh. Oh.
don't don't be too scared. I love you. It's too late. All right, I'm gonna end my stream. Okay.